people want their content to go viral they want to have millions of viewers millions of likes millions of followers when it comes to their post right and be like yeah i made it my video has gone viral <laughs> and then they fall for that vanity matrix right because they're just focusing on the followers and the likes but those vanity metrics does not translate to dollars in your business as an online marketer or digital marketer or if you have a business that you are marketing your products or services online you don't want to just focus on the vanity metrics right you don't want to just focus on how many likes you're getting and it's not translated to anything because we understand that as an online digital marketer you want to be able to use if you were to have a viral content or viral video go you want to be able to use that content for you to have more reach right having more people being aware that you exist having more people know about your products so to you viral content becomes important when you want to focus on getting that reach getting more eyeballs to your offers because we all know that the person who gets the most attention is the one who wins and has to be the right attention from the right people who are going to be interested in our products and services and become buyers at the end we don't want to be focusing on just popularity right it's like oh i got the video viral video and just for the popularity reasons no that's not what you have to focus on if you are a business owner running your business online so i had a post which i posted on instagram which will end up going uh viral to those effect of being a viral which i'm going to be showing you in this video and also i'm going to be showing you how yourself you can use viral marketing so that you can get more eyes on your offers and increase your reach and also be able to convert that traffic and those people down the line so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure you watch all the way to the end where I share all those tricks and tricks so that you'll be able to use viral marketing for your own business. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rudo Dube and on here I share tricks and tricks on how you can build, market and sell your products and services online so that you can increase your revenue. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification button so that you don't miss any other videos like this where I share those tips and tricks on how you can grow your business online using those tips and tricks that I do share in all my videos. So we have all watched those viral videos on the online, right? So we have seen all the scared videos, we have seen all those funny memes and all this stuff, right? So a viral video is something which makes you laugh, which people like to share with others, with their friends and have a laugh, right, about it. So it can be something that is new, something trending, something that uh, you have never seen before, right? So it's anything that catches people's attention, that people like to share, that's what viral content or viral video is all about right so those are the kind of videos which end up being viral that we as business owners want to be able to use that as part of our viral marketing that way we can get more people to see our products and services and have more eyeballs coming to our sites so a couple of weeks ago i saw this video and i decided to use it as part of my marketing on one of my business pages so on that page i hardly get that much engagement on that page so on that page i mainly promote my products using Facebook ads. I don't usually pay too much attention to organic uh, marketing and all this stuff, right? I use that page to just use it to have an Instagram page so that I can run my ads. So I decided to like, okay, let me pay, do a little bit more on that page in terms of posting and all this stuff, right? So I said, let me try out. So I posted this video I had seen being viral on another page and I saw it actually ties in with that business that I'm running on that, with the products I'm, I'm selling on that, um, on that page. I didn't decided to use that because it goes in together, right? So when I posted it, I didn't think much about it. I just posted it. And then later on, I started getting notification of all this engagement, which is going on on that page. And then when I check it out, that's when I saw that it was actually doing really well. So I ended up, getting, ended up having that viral effect to it, right? Where lots of people were liking it. They were sharing it. They were uh, commenting and all this stuff, right? And then when we look at that video, you can see all the engagement that shows right on that 
on that post so it had so many likes as you can see it reached about 106,000 people uh, and most of those people as you can see it end up coming from the hashtags that I had used on that post and then some people came from the Explorer and then from the homepage you can see there's not that much people at all which came from the homepage which was my normal engagement on that page because there's hardly any engagement at all so you can tell that most people will end up coming they came up because of the hashtags and then they also you can see there's about 3,000 people which came from other which I wish Instagram will tell you what other places that is but I'm just assuming that it's other partnership sites that they have right so it might be showing up over there or when people share whatever they're sharing it to other platforms right so ends up having more traffic coming from those places where people are sharing or Instagram or sharing too so as you can see the reason why this one ended up being um, a viral it was because it was already a viral video <laughs> so content that people were interested in they actually enjoyed that video they liked what was going on in there so how i was able to use it for my business is if you can look at it i end up changing the the caption that I used, right? I tied in with my own business, with my own niche, and made it also a little bit funny to go with what the video was about. It's a funny video. So I made my caption to tie into that, right? As you can see, I mentioned about you, you know, because the video was all about people being nosy, black people and African moms and all this stuff, or what kind of nosiness they kind of do, right? And as you can see in the, in the video, the mom was standing out there. The mom represents the kind of uh, demography of the people I target on that page and also she was wearing a bonnet a product that i also sell so i tied that in in the caption and say hey when you're being nosy don't forget to be nosy whilst wearing your bonnet right <laughs> so going on with the, the with the theme of the video and then i link them to say hey if you'd like to grab one make sure you click on my profile you click on the bio link and grab your 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 bonnet that's how i was able to use that viral video to tie in with my own marketing of my products and services that i have right and as you can tell some people really liked it and actually someone commented about how they love the marketing idea right <laughs> so this is how you yourself can also do the same so now you might be wondering how can you use a viral video in your own business and how to go about that so what you have to do is to go whether on youtube uh, instagram or on facebook and look for a viral video that has been proven to be viral because you know, if you go on there you look for a video that has so many shares and likes and all the stuff right so that shows that it's already proven to be a viral video and then you repost it to your own page and then you have to change the 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 caption and use the caption which promotes your products so the videos that you find make sure it's within your niche uh, you can use it to tie in with your products and services that you're offering when you write the caption right and make sure you let them know using a call to action of what you want the people to do whether it's to like your page follow your page or go to your link to buy something or sign up for something whatever it is that you're going to decide to use this video for and then also we want to do it in an ethical way so make sure you give credit it to the person that created that video as you saw on my own video if you were to look in the caption i did give credit to the person who created the video because it's a win-win thing right most people want to have also another reach because now people are going to be like curious like okay who created this video and they get that uh that attention as well so it's a win-win thing most people don't mind as long as you give credit to the person who created it right so i know most people end up thinking so much about viral videos they're like oh i have to spend so much money i have to to create it myself i have to be creative i have to come up with all these ideas for you to come up with a viral video but no not necessarily you can use videos which are already trending which are already viral and then just repost those videos right and it saves you so much time and headaches and all this stuff right but if you are someone who's that creative and wanted to create something for yourself for sure you do that and go ahead and do that right but i'm just saying that if you are not that creative if that was holding you back you can always repost someone else's product or uh, someone else's video we've already proven to be viral already and then you give them credit because we want to be credible right we don't want to be stealing other people's content and not giving them credit for that that's a no no because we don't want to end up in instagram jail <laughs> oh <laughs> facebook jail right when you get banned or shadow banned right I guess there is something called shadow banding, right? So we want to do it in the proper way, where you give credit to the person. And then that, 
that way it's an easy way to you now to use those viral videos for your own marketing as well and it doesn't have to be necessarily just videos it can be posts especially infographics that are really trending right now even uh, those carousel posts right that are really trending right now right so you can find something which is viral and trending and all this stuff and tie it in with your own business and offers right when you write that caption so these are important tips I'm giving you <laughs> some tea here which is gonna keep you uh, get you into the game right <laughs> So use that and uh, those are uh, infographics and carousel posts and all this stuff, right? Any post which ties in with your niche and your products and services, that way you can get that engagement as well in your offers and businesses. That way you have more eyeballs coming and seeing what you have to offer and be able to sell your products and services. So that's how you use um, viral contact marketing so that you can increase that reach for your own business. And then we are not just focusing on the vanity metrics only. We are not looking to just be popular about it, about our business, right? We want to have more reach for people to come and end up converting in the end. We are marketing our products and services. So the other extra tip that I'll give you, this is an added bonus for you who have watched all the way to the end is let's say, as you saw with my post, most people came, but not that many people came to the profile, not many people pro, uh, converted to like clicking and becoming followers or uh, clicking onto the website, right? So what you can do now, if you run ads like what I do, <laughs> <laughs> so you can now then go to your Facebook manager uh, platform and then create an audience of all those people who have engaged with your business before people who have engaged with your Instagram posts. So that way you can retarget those people with your products and services. That way you can sell after that. That's another added advantage of that. This is an extra tip for you who will stick down to the end. So you can always retarget those people with an ad on Facebook using the audience of people who have engaged with you with your page on Instagram or Facebook. I hope this video has been useful and you can start using viral videos to market your products and services and grow your business. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe turn on the notification so that you don't miss any videos like this and make sure you thumbs up share with others who might find this video useful because you don't want to be the only one who's coming up on this game right so sharing is caring so make sure you share with others as well so for now stay strong stay positive and continue building the business that you love and i'll see you next time